Here we are at St. Ambrose Catholic Church, where we're getting ready to install brand new, beautiful windows from Universal Windows Direct. This is the installer, Eric Callahan, and he's going to walk us through the window replacement process. All right, well, first thing we're gonna do here is we have this old aluminum trim on the inside. We're gonna start by cutting away the old silicone, removing that trim, and then we can get into the removal of the frame of the old window. Alrighty, now that we took care of the interior trim, we can then go ahead and start on the removal of the actual frame. First thing we're going to do is pop off the operating panel. That just simply opens up, slides open, up, and out. And these windows are just fastened with four screws, one in each corner. Okay, we removed the screws. I'm just gonna go ahead and reach out and cut some of the silicone that's attaching this window to the outer frame. Now you can say goodbye to that old metal window. Frame being removed, we still have all the outer frame that needs to come out. That just takes a couple of screws and a little finesse with a pry bar. Okay, the last step I'm going to do to prep this opening for the new window is just remove this interior stop. Okay, now we'll go ahead and just hit the opening with a shop vac, get it nice and cleaned up and ready for the new window. Alright, now that we have the old frame all vacuumed out and cleaned up and ready for install, we're going to go ahead and start and prep our new window for installation. First thing we're going to do is remove the sashes just so it's a little bit easier to handle the frame when we're setting it. Now with our exclusive Unishield, both sashes will actually come out for easy cleaning versus the old one where you saw me just take out one operating panel.
Okay, now when setting this window, for this particular installation, we're going to go ahead and put new interior trim. It's going to be a flush mount picture frame style trim, where we're going to have four pieces of two and a quarter casing going flush around the drywall to the window. So when you're setting this window, you want to make sure that you have a straight edge and check each corner for flushness with the drywall. It's also important when setting your window to make sure you center the new window inside the old opening. You don't want it to more to one side than the other side. Okay, now that we have our four screws started, I'll go ahead and reinsert the operating panels to check for squareness. As you can see, the sight line between the frame and the window sash has a perfect reveal going straight down. This will ensure you that your frame is square with your sash. Both locks will line up and lock correctly. All your seals line up in place. Um, you may notice the old frame a little bit out of square here. There's a big opening at the top, smaller at the bottom. That, there's where we're going to stuff our insulation at. Now when insulating all four sides around the frame, um, we do use the pink fiberglass insulation. Uh, we do not use the expandable foam insulation because that, we found that that insulation could expand a little much and bow that frame out, causing your window to not operate correctly. All right, now that the window is in and properly insulated, we went ahead and mitered all of our trim. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave the window being overlapped by the trim a quarter inch to cover up the old paint line and to have a proper overlap on the window. Here's the unfinished exterior of the window. We're gonna go ahead and apply our custom bent aluminum trim coil to finish off the outside. And there you have it. A brand new, maintenance-free, energy-efficient vinyl window from Universal Windows Direct.